So last year when I uh, picked up the trailer, the CVD trailer, um, I also picked up a new tent for the for the group. We picked up a Mount Thielsen. It's a two-person pop-up tent. It basically you pop straight up, um, and we put it on the trailer, and it worked really well. Um, the issues that I have with it, mostly size. Um, it seems like kind of a waste of space on the trailer. I, I, I want to get more out of it. Um, I'm. It's also a little bit small for two people, for two adults. So I, I kind of want to get something a little bit bigger um, that can be used also more as a base camp. So um, right now I, I don't really have the ability to take the trailer to an area, set up the trailer, and then go and explore that area for a couple of days. Whether it be trails, um, going and exploring and finding new trails, or whether it be going out on the lake and just and just playing in the water. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through it and give everybody a, uh, a, a good idea into it. Um, just as a comparison, this is also a very similar model. I believe Free Spirit um, sells a very similar product to this. Um, CVT does not sell this model anymore. So if you like this model and you want it new, you would have to go to Free Spirit. My issue with this on top of the Jeep, um, I did try to run it on the Jeep and I didn't really like it. Um, and that has more to do with um, the roof rack that I have and the, the way that my Jeep is set up. So when I had it on the roof rack, one, it took the entire roof rack. There was zero space for anything else. And because of the way that I have my brackets set up to mount tents to on my roof rack, there was really not enough room for me to get my hands in there and ratchet down the bolts and the nuts and bolts that secure it to the roof. So I got it on there. Um, I used it once. It, it worked fine, um, fine-ish. This would work fantastic for um, a pickup truck bed. Um, a six-foot pickup truck bed would probably this would probably cover it just about perfectly, um, and then you wouldn't have any issues. The um, nice thing about this is that there's a lot of space in this canvas, so you can absolutely, once you go to pack it up, you can you can fold up your your bedding and everything and and, and throw it on there. Um, I never kept the I don't keep the ladder in here, though I see people who do keep the ladder inside the tent all the time. Um, so. The first thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to pull the straps. There are four fixed straps that are fastened to the canvas itself. And then there are these, uh, these straps that kind of just fling over and then they have little loops that, that, that it goes through. First thing, of course, we got to do is pull off all of the straps. There's these also these four, there's four little plastic clips that hold the corners together. Just loosen up. And then you unhook these little metal pieces that have holes underneath. I uh, tried for a long time to, to uh, not to think that I didn't need to undo all four, all all six of the of the little hooks. Um, you you really do. Um, they all need to be unhooked. And to open it up, the easiest way to do this is to uh, just push up and find this middle bar. There's three bars, and then you just push this up and you connect it to this first bar here. And then you take this one and you push it up and you connect it to this little plastic piece right down here. And then of course you uh, you do the same thing. This one, they all have little Velcro straps. I tend to do this one because it's, it's fairly easy. And you just pull this out and hook it up to the pole on the top. And now it's tight and you have plenty of space. The, you've got little rolly down bags for your shoes and your socks. I tend to put a fair, pair of flip flops in there when I sleep. So if I have to get up um, unexpectedly, I've got something that is in my boots so I can slip them on real quick and it's got both sides. It's got nice handy little little air vents on both sides and then it has a door and the thing I like about the door is that it's got a it's got a half panel so it allows you to once you're inside and the doors rolled up you can zip down the top half as much as you want and still get a little bit of privacy. 
And then of course there is a uh, there's Velcro in here to roll them up. It has windows on, uh, it has the main window on the door side. It has a window at each head, at the foot and the, at the foot and the head. And then there are two windows on the back side. They all have canvas, they all have screens, um, and they all open from the top down so that you can uh, choose how much or how little privacy you want. There's these little pegs here for the ladder to go into. Um, they are movable and adjustable. Um, when I had it on the top of the commander, the uh, bracket for the ax was in the way of the ladder. Of the ladder. So I just grabbed, grabbed a hex wrench and moved them a little bit so that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't an issue with the, the ax handle being in the way. And then of course, this particular model underneath has the uh, anti-condensation mat, which isn't quite as important um, on this tent as it is on something like the clamshell tents. And the reason why is because this does not have a solid surface bottom. So it doesn't have aluminum or fiberboard or anything like that. There's, um, there's some beams that go across. Um, and then the, the built-in mattress pad is on those beams. And then the anti-condensation mat is on that pad. And then you've got this, I don't know if it's a two or a three inch foam pad sitting on top. So it's, it's, it's plenty comfortable. Um, one person sleeps in it fantastically with your gear. Um, I've slept in it in the rain. I've slept in it in, I don't think I've slept in it in the snow, but I've, I've been in it and it's, it's, it's kept the heat off of me um, from the sun perspective when we were out in central Oregon and it was direct sun and we were on the top of a hill. And then, like I said, um, it's, it's kept the, uh, the rain and the mist of the Pacific coast off of me when I've been sleeping also. So it's, it's been a pretty good tent. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it. This is the uh, Mount Thielsen CVT tent. Mm.